Quo. Okay, hey guys. Hey, welcome to another episode of Anderson's welcome, TV. Welcome, 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 indeed.、Um, and this video, Rob and I are going to try and find our favourite Ibanez, Jackson, Jackson. and Schecter kind of go shopping. Rocky Shreddy machines. Because、uh, we're the budget. All about the shred. Well, you know, I don't mind a little bit of shreddies from time to time. Uh, with a budget of about five hundred pounds, and I thought the quickest and simplest way for us to see what was available and what we liked and what we didn't like was to use our website. So I'm using an iPad.、Uh, it looks a little different on uh, on、um, a, a desktop, but it's pretty similar as well on on a, a phone.、Uh, and here we go. So we're just going to literally go to the go to the chapter section. Guitar section. Uh, and then we are going to wait, filter. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. What's that? What are you looking for?、Oh. You've, you've already got distracted, haven't you? So we're just going to filter this by、um, the brands. So we want. What did we say we wanted? Schecter. We wanted、uh, Ibanez. Ibanez. Jackson. Jackson. And、uh, Schecter. There's going to be a lot of guitars here. Uh, and oh, and that was the other filter we wanted to put on it. I've been invited to the Shakti Custom Shop. Did I tell you that? You did.、Mm. Yeah, we、uh, we were going to go there actually in、uh, at the Nam show, but we ran out of time. So let's choose the the five hundred to seven hundred and fifty price bracket, and see what we like. So here we go. Is there anything?、I'll、You're going to have to、I'll、go just... slower than that, Lee, because、oh, when I when、okay. I shop, I like to luxuriate. Get a packet of Monster Munch, maybe a glass of Unbongo, slightly chilled. And 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 do my my dreamy my dreamy、in. scrolly.、Mm. I don't I don't want V's I don't want V's or、But、who are we buying this guitar for? Oh you all right then. <laughs> well, but there are three guitars, one each, and then one to share. Okay,、uh, go on then. Actually, yeah, all right, one one each, one each and one to share. Right, I see what、I、you're think, saying. Ooh. Ooh. So, the soloist is. The first really high-end guitar that I ever saw that I went,、oh, what's that? And my guitar teacher、uh, went, oh, it's a Jackson soloist. If you play one of these, it probably means you're a professional guitar player.、And、so I, so I soloist could soloist. be there. Well, how much is that? Five fifty-nine. So the soloist is on is 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 an, on the list.、Uh, we've got some Ibanezy ones here. Yeah. Trying to see if this is this. That's of... really nice. It's seven hundred pounds though, Lee. That's all right. Well, as long as we're in that sort of well. Up, we're in this sort of everything on this list is going to be between somewhere between five hundred and seven fifty. Okay, well I really like the RGA one X six FMTGF. Please, GF. just invent proper names.、It、drives me mad. Call it, you know, John or something. Yeah, Steve. That's cool. Steve. It's a different take on it a, is a, different a familiar、take. shape.、Um, I'm drawn to the dark side at the moment. I like that black T type. Do you? Yeah. The P, the Schecter PT. That's a good guitar. I remember we've we've tried that before. I'm, I'm more into these Sun Valley guitars yeah, from now, Schecter. Yeah. Now I just saw this sort of、uh, blue sky burst. That is pretty, isn't I it? I am quite Ooh, jazz, art core. Probably not going to go jazz.、Uh, it's a nice guitar. I, I like that offset kind of shape. Yeah. It's like someone's put a candle under it. It's melted at one side. <laughs> Uh, Jackson X Series, SL three X soloist in neon orange. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm.、Uh, just because it's neon orange. Hmm. You like that? Do you? I like that. Let's have a little look. See if this is in stock. Um. Oh, look at that. Yes, sir. Yep, they're in stock. Great. So let's put that down as the first one. Pete, could you write down? Um. In fact, I'll give you the stock code. I'll、show people where the sneaky stock code is on the Anderton's websites.、Uh, actually, it might not even be here on the iPad one. No, it's not. I can't find it. Okay, it is、uh, a Jackson X Series SL three X soloist in neon orange. It looks amazing. So back to I like to purchase a guitar knowing I'll be noticed on stage. Back to where we were. Uh, I thought that was really cool, but the next guitar really should be your choice, and we can't all be orange. Oh, can't we? Well, well we can. <laughs> okay, let me just see where we got. We got. We've scrolled. Here we go.、Um, they're nice. I like yeah, these bell top really things.、Really、I preferred that blue one that we saw. The blue、um, burl. 
That's nice. Is that not a seven string, is it? That is a six string. I like that. Don't be afraid of the With seven. With a hardtail. I am afraid of the seven. Um, what else? Here we go. Pages. Oh, that's nice. In fact, that's probably the best one so far. Can I just have a look really? and see if... I like, that, I like the look of that. Let me see if that's in stock or not. You're like the Shamford in some... Inferno. Yeah, I think I do. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, can I choose this one? You can choose anything you want, Lee. Right. It's your Pete, score. I've gone Schecter Reaper Dash 6 in Inferno Burst <laughs> because it says it's Vogue style and killer sound. Right. I like that. Um, so what have we got? We've got a Jackson and we've got a Schecter. We need an Ibanez. So we've got a, we need an Iban Ibanez. It's cool. Me, was it Inferno Burst? It is, yes. but it, it's not doing what oh. I what it is that I like from Ibanez. I'm surprised you didn't go crackle finish. No uh, they're actually they're really good. No, no Floyd. Uh, no. Do you want to organise it by just Ibanez now then? Yes, we can do. Where's to make, my filter? Make it a bit easier for me. Filter. So Dave's got one of those, and it's really no. cool, but. What was that? What was that reaction, Lee? Because that's that's if you're if suddenly you're in some sort of seventies um, sort of prog throwback thing. That's Dave, exactly. <laughs> but we're we're not going for that kind of. All right, all right, that was right. the one that you liked, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, but which I agree because what, it's got a lot of good reviews. What, it's got six five star reviews. Yeah. What's my budget? Any anything on this page is in oh, your budget. Oh right. Yeah. Well, I've already got one of those, but in purple. You want to have a little deeper look at one of these? All right. It might not be Take in stock. Me deep, Lee. It might not be in stock. Um, oh look, that's nice. It does look really good. All right, we'll go for that. And it's it is in stock. stock. It's Happy in stock. Days. We'll take one. Right. Okay. So that is uh, Mr. Pete and Ibanez. R G A I X six F M dash. No, that's it. T G F. R G A I X. Imagine being in an Ibanez sales meeting. How do I see what these reviews are? Where are the reviews on here? There we go. Here we the go. viewers need to know. Stephen that Deacon says, I love this guitar. The second it's in your hands, you know it's a fine instrument. It's well made with no issues I can see. The simplicity is subtle. I haven't paired it with my Blackstar ID Core 10, but it's awesome. Oh, I have I have paired it? My Blackstar ID Core 10. Do, awesome. do you remove uh, comments that, that aren't more than like two stars? No. So, no. so we could find a sh it's not, we're not allowed to, it's, um, this oh. is FIFO, it's completely... Oh, it's completely... We don't, it's, this isn't management. The only things that, are, that, that can't get through are profanities. So oh, right. Like profanity filters on it. But no, absolutely, it, it's... Um, Pete we, needs a profanity we, filter. We, we, exactly, that's right. Um, anyway, well, there we are. Well done for choosing those. So uh, let's go get the guitars. But we don't get them, they just get delivered to us, don't they? Well, that's, it depends, yes, if you mail but, order them, they'll just... Oh look, it worked! No! Oh, so orange! What are the chances? I've been tangoed in the fingers. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you've been tangoed. <laughs> It's uh, it's very difficult to play 
with any dexterity. They don't tell you that on the GoPro website, do they? No, no, it's not in the terms and conditions. I'll tell you what, it makes that much harder too. Oh, oh, oh. oh it's probably a great camera angle. It just shows the balance and dexterity. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh. Um, so there we are. These are the three guitars that on the Andertons website we thought looked like they'd be ones we'd be interested in. Uh, an orange Jackson. I'm filming you from my guitar. Oh, it's somewhere what you're doing. <laughs> an orange SLX3 or SL3X, I can't remember. And we'll look up the spec in a minute. An Ibanez uh, entire alphabet with probably XFM written in it somewhere. Uh, and a Schecter. Ibanez alphabet. Yeah. It's an RGX, <laughs> blah, 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 yeah. blah. And, and a Reaper, a Schecter Reaper. So what, what should we do first? Should we talk about the well, the specs of start, your guitar? Yeah, it's it's bright in colour, but not necessarily in tonality. I'm going to look so it up. And it's we'll, a little bit of a darker beast. A dark horse or and, um, a dark beast? I don't know whether it's a dark a horse. A dark lord. I'm going to back off some of this game. Yes, I said I'm going to back off some of this gain and just um, give you some of the cleaner tones. What? I know, I'm sorry, but you know, you got to try at some point. So it's Duncan loaded with a humbucker and then two of these, which would appear single coil, but they're not. They're actually humbucking uh, pickups in a single coil format. I really like this configuration. In fact, one of the first guitars I really modified had exactly the same pickup mm. configuration. You see the blades too often anymore, do no, you? No, I like the blades, man. I, bring back I, the blades. I agree. I especially agree. the game on my iPhone called Blades. I've been playing Blades of Glory. Mm. My <laughs> hand now smells like a garage, which is uh, one of those side effects playing guitars. So, tone, volume, one, two, oh, one, two, three, four, five way uh, pickup selecting switch, which is nice. Nice to have that. And let's take a listen to the neck. It is dark. Yes, it is dark. Step it up one. I'm not sure what that does though. I'm guessing it's this and then the inside blade. Uh, well, which is I, what it yes. would normally be. I, it, there's no mention of any coil tappage going on, but we'll see. This is a basswood body. Basswood, basswood. It's the classic tomato, tomato argument. Um, no, it's always tomato. It's from the X series from Jackson. Give you an idea. So not the cheapest, but not the dearest. So somewhere in the middle. Uh, compound radius fretboard. Uh, goes from uh, 12 inch radius at the at the nut end to 16 inch radius at the dusty end. Uh, 24 frets, jumbo frets. Uh, what have we got the fretboard made from? It looks like work. rosewood. Uh, it does, doesn't it? But uh, be unusual. It is rosewood. Hey. It is. Locking trim. A, uh, a a licensed Floyd Rose R3. R3. R3 DT through two. Right. Um, <laughs> Not much else to tell you other than, again, they're Duncan designed pickups. So you've got the HB103 humbucker and the HB101 hot rails. Um, I like HBO personally. I wish every program would start. Uh, anyway, so neck. Step it up one. In das middle. Step it down one more. Bridge. It's thick and it's quite dark. It's thick and creamy. But what that means is that when you add in ridiculous gain, you get quite a nice thick gain. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
staying in tune well. It's staying in tune well. It is staying in tune um, well. It's it's incredibly hard to play with, with the with the neck dive, but I'm surviving. Would you like me to remove this for you? Because we kind of that was momentarily, and you could film with it. That would be. Oosh. Oh my god! Is it going to be this way up? That's so. Doesn't much matter. Better. Just it doesn't matter. Yeah. Can you uh, flip it like a cricket and just show us why it's called a soloist? Because it goes, what, what, what? It's what they call a set through. So it's, I don't know why I'm pointing it is, this at you anymore. <laughs> it's a set neck and then they've carved it to appear as if it goes through the body. One of the first designs I noticed that did that when I was a kid. Absolutely. And um, yeah. It's so it's, I think if I remember rightly, the soloist is the full size kind of strap body with the through neck as opposed to the dinky, which is probably the other famous Jackson one, which is a seven eighths size. Seven eighths, try saying that with a lift. Um, so it's it's a super popular guitar, the soloist. I really like it. What is, it's of, of, the, of the three guitars, I guess what we're trying to do, obviously we can take this just as a straightforward comparison of, of tones between the three guitars, but I'm quite looking forward to maybe getting Rob's um, impression of just which guitar feels like it's the nicest built to give an indication of maybe which of the three brands is doing like the best job in and around this price point. Okay, well, so <laughs> so this one is a little bit dark for yep. my tastes. Yeah. And it feels like an intermediate guitar. Yep. It doesn't feel like a really expensive guitar. When you pick this guitar up, yep. it feels like it's a bit it, more high end. Is it fair to say that with our sort of, you know, limited experience or reasonable experience of, of making guitars in the Far East kind of do it, less natural finishes is the easiest is that's that's the easiest guitars for them to build isn't it yes. just like please can we paint everything in some yeah, sort of because you can uh, hide up all the different multiple pieces of wood it's, it's an affordable yeah. way of making a guitar yeah because so it's, it's easy to make one solid color my gut feeling is is the Jackson is probably the cheapest one to build of the three that putting aside the fact that it has got a floyd on it which will obviously add no you're cost. absolutely right that um, would definitely be and the th most affordable and especially with basswood yeah and basswood i think is it is affordable i think though of the three again i can't remember exactly but i think it is the cheapest of the three anyway yeah. so it's it's uh, i mean i thought i think it looks wicked i loved the fact that you had an, a, a neon yellow cable plugged into a neon yeah. orange guitar it it's was like just the like 80s all over come it. on this feels like the kind of thing that i would buy um, it's wood, you can touch the wood, you can see what it's made of. They're not able to hide any little flaws in the manufacturing. Look at the size of that three piece of neck. Guan Tings. Now, that, what's that purple heart? It looks like purple oh. heart, yeah, but Could I don't know if it's a stain um, on my hog. What did we reckon this was? R G A I X uh, 6 F M T G F. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. Numbers. It is. Oh, it is. It only is. Right. Um, okay, so you've got six and seven string versions of this, um, and the basic spec of this ebony board is um, yeah, it's a an three-piece maple and babinga neck, maple top mahogany body, uh, ebony fretboard, um, and DiMarzio Fusion Edge pickups with a coil tap switch and a Gibraltar standard two bridge. Not a lot of people know that Gibraltar makes some of the best guitar hardware in the world and that's why Spain want it back so badly. <laughs> um, I can imagine almost everyone watching this has no idea what I'm talking about. But yeah, hey, so it's a maple... It's your Spanish It's a British. maple top, not a cap, because you can, you can just through here, it's one of those tricks yeah. to trade if you make It's too cheap to be a top, isn't well, it? No, you, like no, a, no, you can just see cap, that it, you can see that it's about a yeah. centimetre, uh, yeah. half a centimetre of, of wood on top. Yeah. Um, on top of mahogany board. But anyway, it feels nice. Yeah. Nice locking tuners. Um, oh, locking and, tuners. Yeah, nice. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go yeah. to locking yeah. tuners. I love this recessed bolted 
Uh, so that would be here. a cheaper um, manufacturing technique to do the bolt on rather than the set, wouldn't it? But yes, it is. It's a nice job, though. But they've done a yeah, they've done a good job of it. Yeah. I mean, and better, they've spent the money on other stuff, yeah. I guess. To, to in my opinion, better than having one of those square bits of metal mm -hmm. and recessed uh, covers, which is slightly nice downturned smile. Um, yes, that right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but. I don't know that, what that that's does. I guess to give you the slight that to give you a bit more um, pull on the the two bottom strings I guess isn't right. it that, the bevel no the bevels on the back yeah um, should we see what this switch does is it a split I don't know go on have a look and I'll see if I can by the way that's a clean tone oh, so these pickups are they kicking are poke they are kicking poke ass. Do you need to adjust that? It's just, it's, there's obviously chucking such a load it's into the amp. It's seriously struggling. high output pickups. Yeah, crazy. It is definitely designed to go. So I'm gonna go and... Um... <laughs> Almost every single position it wants to turn into that saturated mm. sustain, which feels really nice as a player, and you can feel it resonating. It's a really, it's a really nice instrument. I'm going to tap it and see what it's like with the gain, but tapped. <laughs> Prefer it tapped, which is an, it gives you a bit more clarity through the game. Yeah, great guitar. Want to try this one next? Oh, all right then. Uh, and then we're, <laughs> I said I'll have a little noodle just to give my ten pence oh. worth. It's, it's light this one as well, isn't it? The the, the Schecter is heavier, but it is heavier. Hey, really, really good stable neck construction. Lots of different bits of wood fighting each other for for where they want to be, which ultimately gives you more stability. I love that you can see all the wood on the back and all the flamey bits and stuff. You've got, to, you've got to be careful. Sometimes a little bit of flame or a bit of ripple will look like a ding. Like that looks like a ding, but it's not. Yeah. It's not a ding. It's a ripple. It's a ripple. Yeah. So uh, again, in terms of uh, materials, uh, we have here a, a multiple ply of maple and walnut with carbon fiber reinforced rods on the neck. Right. Uh, we have a um, swamp ash body with like a burl top on it or a veneer of some sort. Um, we have ebony fretboard, which is good. Um, again, they're all the same scale length, all 25 and a half inch. They class this as their ultra thin C. 
it's not a compound radius guitar now so it's like a, just a straightforward 14 inch radius all the way over and it has the Schecter diamond decimator uh, pickups uh, with the uh, coil tap right. on the back tone well, control. Well, feels nice. Yeah, and it's a through neck. Uh, sorry, it's a it's set a, neck. It's a set neck, set not a through, the best one <laughs> it's my favorite sounding one out of the three uh, I, I wasn't sure if you were going to say you liked it to play better than the Ibanez but it, I think it's the best sounding one out of the three I think it's the best playing one and the nicest feeling one and I think that it I think the Ibanez pickups rival it I think I prefer that neck pickup to the Ibanez one yeah and then the bridge is kind of even Stevens isn't that odd? Yeah. Well, fair play to Schecter, because to, to be totally honest with you, it's um, normally, you know, the Schecter lives in, the, a lot of time lives in the shadow of the, of the sort of Jackson the and Ibanez kind of brands. But I like the Reaper. I, to be honest with you, I like the reverse headstock. I like what they've done with this little bitty bit here. I'm not yeah. massively sure I like the logo, but I like the placement of the logo. They chamfered it. I like what's happened on the, where the art forearm would go. They chamfered it. Um, I don't like... There's tacky stickers that Schecter used to tell you where, or the swing tag that tell you where the coil tip is. But mate, you can just take it off and then it's. Not I know. Done. It's just. Annoying. I don't like all guitar brands putting stickers on things. I don't like it. Um, I do like the. It's a veneer, and here we can just show you it's a veneer. Yeah, I like the fact like that it's veneer a veneer ash is, body. Is, I like ash body guitars. Veneer is no longer a dirty word. It's just a. Here is a nice looking millimeter of wood. Yeah. And uh, um, not even millimeter piece of paper isn't it in most cases they're normally a mil thick what, um, veneers i thought veneers were just like crazy like the thickness of they, a hair you can well, you can specify different thicknesses can you yes um, so they can be you know from half a mil to yeah in some cases two mil well that guitar uh is this and the ibanez are similar kind of money they're both just over 700 pounds whereas the so that they're about 150 pounds more than These the Jackson. Are all made in Indonesia. Yes. So it's just where it's at. Indonesia is is now putting out guitars from from a couple of hundred up to like eight. More. Quid. More. Way more. Yeah. I mean, some brands. I'm sure there are Ibanez Indonesian guitars up at you know 12, 1300 pounds. But interesting. Just saying. Um, it's a bit like if you think about it geographically, it's like as you go to sort of. East Asia, it goes cheap, more expensive, more expensive, more expensive. Yeah. Because so you, well, ending with Japan well, Indonesia is, the is most kind of expensive. below Japan, isn't it? Yeah. So you've got China, affordable, and yeah. then you've got you know South China where they don't make a lot of guitars. Yeah. Because it's mostly a Herve Tianjin. Yeah. And then it goes like Korea, more expensive. Then it goes Japan, very expensive. Yeah. And then below it is Indonesia, yeah. which is becoming the world's well, guitar factory. And I think there's a reason for that in that labor is still crazy cheap there and there's tons of resources yeah which you know hey we can you can have the whole argument about you know whether it's uh, ethical to well, uh, people just go, to work 
yeah, at the end of the day, and that's a personal decision for anybody to go and buy whatever they want to buy. But um, that's, I think that's the issue with Korea is that the labor force is just, um, it's, it's on a, the cost of employing people in, and living in Korea is on par with any other Western sort of... Well, Korea, know. if you've ever been there, looks like a part of Japan, yeah. to be honest with you. It's, uh, it's so, high end. And yet, there, but there's certainly... Indonesia doesn't seem to have the reputation that China has of making the real tutti stuff, does it? You know? No, I and mean... China's weird in the sense of like 100%. I've seen, is it Eastman or Eastwood or what's the Eastie brand that East, comes out of, you know, I, I know, I know I've seen some incredibly high quality guitars come out of there and that is Chinese. And I've seen some awful... So, okay, you know, here, here's the thing. Catalog guitars. Here's what I think would be useful for people to realise about yeah. China. China is huge so when you say china it's bigger than the isle of Wight. Is there is an absolutely enormous difference between say shanghai hong kong mm. hangzhou on, on the east coast where all the money is yeah and then like herbei or tianjin where it's a lot more affordable so you're talking about building a guitar in herbei as opposed to like hong kong yeah it's a completely different world yeah like you walk around hong kong you'd think you were in england yeah walk around Hangzhou, you'd be like, this is like modern, high-end skyscraper buildings, beautiful lakes. Yeah. It's like money, money, money. You go to Hebei, it's like much more affordable. Deve yeah, that almost like a developing yeah. uh, society. It's completely different. It's like mm. a different country because China's so big. So I think maybe people need to reassess their concept of made yeah. in China because I'm telling you, it's a big difference. I and you see that in America. Made in Mexico, made in America. Yeah. Same landmass. It's an interesting one, isn't it? Certainly, from what I understand from talking to our manufacturers, the American consumer market is much more um, uh, influenced by the country of origin of a guitar than, say, most European customers. You know, I'm not. There's no necessarily right or wrong there, but this idea of I think European customers are more open-minded to just going, well, <coughs> is it any good or not? Oh, look, they're where it's made, as opposed to, and I'm not making a sweeping statement here. I'm just saying this is a this is gen generalistic feedback that I get from suppliers, which is absolutely if the country of origin on the back of the headstock says a certain place for some American consumers, it's just like pff, I, I'm well not buying that. Interesting. You know? I was talking to my friends at, at Music Man Guitars, and they were saying for the person that doesn't have a lot of money, they don't really care where it's made. They want a guitar that they like the feel of and the look of. Yeah. Whereas a person that has a lot more expendable income, they can afford to be a bit more highbrow and they want something made in America or made somewhere else. So it depends on the budget. What do you think? Yeah, I'm just glad that my really expensive Apple iPhone's made in America. <laughs> uh, did Insert you know, irony noise. Can I, can I leave a, an interesting yeah. topic of conversation? Yes. Huawei, Huawei, which means Huawei. speak Oh, out. the uh, mobile phone company yes. they have a uh, a lot of people like in asia like to photograph the moon do they, they photographing the moon is a really cool thing and uh, they have a setting called uh moon, moon setting. Mode. <laughs> no really and when you go to photograph the moon it turns out people thought it was a like a crisper more defined mm. uh telescopic image of the moon but it turns out that huawei were connecting to the internet downloading thousands of little tiny images that people had already taken of the moon that were really good and adding them onto the image that you see in your photograph so when you take the photograph it's actually kind of a really high-end photoshop patchwork quilt of other moon photographs wow. other people had already taken and not the photograph that you thought you'd taken because nasa doesn't want you to see the real moon is it possible then if i buy a huawei phone and take a selfie of myself that sort of images of people like Brad Pitt and kind of Tom Cruise yeah. and stuff would be morphed yeah, into yeah, yeah. And I'll look at You'd myself be and go, why am I so much better looking on a Huawei phone than anything else? I'm buying this phone. But why wouldn't um, they want you to see the moon in an actual photograph? Well, all I know in the UK is that, uh, you know, Huawei, uh, there's a big question mark over whether it's a national security risk to allow Huawei to be part of the 5G infrastructure what? rollout over here. Apart from every other thing ever made in China and in the UK. I'm, 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 not, I'm not saying I... I think I'm, it's more I, that it's just a competitor of I, iPhone. I, I don't know 
that I know enough to have an opinion about it. I'm just know. saying it's what fun I though, read isn't it? in the news. Anyway, I haven't really given any constructive feedback on these guitars. Maybe it's not necessary. Do we just? Well, no, it jump? definitely is. Which it one is. do you prefer? Uh, can I just give them the quick sort of? Um, do it. Quick. Nothing wrong with that. It plays good. It sounds good. I haven't even used any of the other pickup settings. Maybe I should. Um, oh, it's a bit, bit pickaxey, isn't it? On the a bit ice picky. Yeah. But you need that in a band context to cut through the mix. What's a band, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> I don't really like any of the clean tones. Right. Well, um, try the clean tones on that then, Lee. Uh, oh, this is great. I mean, I just want to like guitars like this. There's such a visual statement of just a certain time and place in history. Right now, right here. Big neck, big neck. I think that that feeling of size in the neck is a lot to do with the lacquer. Yeah, I you've agree. You've added at least a mil and a half. Yeah, well, you've, I've seen on like Squire guitars with heavily lacquered necks, when you actually start trying to sand it off, yeah. you realise there it probably has added a millimetre all the way around, yeah. you know. That's the girl you pick up and she's got fake boobs. That's the girl next door that you realise is really hot. And this is the Brazilian on the beach that you wish you could get. <laughs> I, I think that, I think the Floyd Rose takes away a lot of that natural- Ooh, Controversial. Grunt, because I, I know what you mean. You're, there's a part of you where you're just going, come on note, come on. Sustain. And it's like, it's just not. Uh, <laughs> So the, the, the first second or two is fine, but then it's like... But then of course... Can't do that with either well, of those. What the wood is supposed to do is, is, is give back that, that resonation. So when you've got a drunk of metal, it's, it doesn't always, uh, uh, there's a, doesn't there's always a, help. There's a part of me that just says, uh, as a stage guitar, this is the winner. You know, like, as in to just dive bombs, look the part. I think if you threw a stage light on that, it would look amazing, though. Yeah, but in a different way. In a, in a sort of a, this just looks classy, whereas that's brassy. You know, it's just like, look at me. So let's try the, let's try your favourite one and see if I concur with you. <coughs> um, yes. Tuning for the people, Lee. It is the nicest feeling one to play. You can tap it as well. You mean what with this handily labelled coil yeah. tap switch here? Yeah. It's a narrower neck than the Ibanez. It's a more conventional, stratty feeling yeah. neck, isn't it? I wouldn't say any of these three are really blowing me away on their clean sounds, but I guess that's not the...
Sounds great. It's really odd, isn't it? When you played this one, I was like, that's my favorite sounding, the two. I'm not sure now between these two on the driven sound, which I like the best, but I'd have to say that if it was literally a question of, come on then, all things considered, which is your favorite, I would concur. I'd go with this yeah. one too. It sounds the best. Interesting. Well, there you go. Well, there you are. That was a little trip through the Anderton's website, looking at uh, Schechter, Jackson and Ibanez guitars that we could have picked. Uh, in between that sort of five to seven hundred pound brackety mark. What would you have picked? Yeah, what would you have picked? I mean, are there any other brand and pricey shootout comparison-y things that you would like us to do? Should we go pedal shopping next time? We do pedal shopping, we do amp shopping. Yeah. We could do, you know, underwear shopping. Can we shop for Whatever you want to do. We should <laughs> Pizza just not, shopping. Could we just not go on the Anderson's website? Could we just go on, you know, some other website and just shop for other things? Yeah. Would that be a good video? That's a great idea. Hey, there you go. I've been Chappers. I've been the captain. See you later. Oh, my pick wasn't heavy enough.